<laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sounds kind of like construction noise. So, let's talk about nipples. They're anatomical features that every human has. That's why we're called mammals. These things on our chest are either functional, in the case of female-bodied people, or sort of left over, in the case of male-bodied people. Breasts are the vehicle through which our mammary glands provide nutrient-rich milk to our growing young. So why is it that YouTube will allow us to put this image on screen, but would take this video down if we were to post an uncensored version of this photo? Like, what's the actual difference between male and female nipples? Well, when we're children, male and female chests are exactly the same. During puberty, that lovely time, male and female sex organs, like the testes and the ovaries, start to send signals to your brain to produce different kinds of hormones. And it's these hormones that spark all those changes that differentiate between the two sexes, including breast development. In female bodies, higher levels of estrogen trigger fatty tissue to form in the breast area, and the release of a hormone called prolactin stimulates the development of a ductal tree, or the structure that creates and releases milk out through the nipple. Men technically do have the capability to develop these, they just don't have enough of the right hormones to create the working version. This is one of the reasons why men with hormonal disorders may present with breast development and even lactation. So, if male and female nipples are exactly the same in structure, but men mostly can't use theirs, why do they still have them? In very basic terms, evolution works like this. If a trait is beneficial, it'll get passed down to offspring who will then have a better chance of survival because of that beneficial trait. In this way, the trait can become the dominant one in a whole species. The same works for bad traits, or ones that would harm our ability to survive. Individuals with those traits would die out and not reproduce, so the trait would slowly disappear from the gene pool. In the womb, we all have the potential to become male or female. We share all the chromosomes except for one, X and Y, so the difference between the sexes is actually much smaller than you might think. The nipples themselves are not a trait determined by our sex chromosome, so we all develop them. And then our sex organs, which are dictated by our sex chromosome, indicate whether or not our nipples become part of fully functioning breasts. The leading hypothesis as to why men still have nipples is basically that non-functioning nipples don't do either harm or good. Male nipples have no net effect on male fitness, so there's no reason why they would be deselected from the gene pool. Basically, if we're anthropomorphizing here, evolution can't be bothered to get rid of them. Which brings us to the social question. Male and female nipples tend to look the same. And, fun fact, they're both, on average, equally sensitive to touch and are considered erogenous zones for both men and women. So why can't we show women's nipples? We can show basically the whole of a woman's breast, which is arguably more erotic than the nipple itself, but once you put the nipple in there, it's like, whoa, no, now it's pornographic. The conclusion here is that the censoring of the female nipple is just another way to control and shape the portrayal of female sexuality to control the image of a woman's body. And if you can control and censor the image of a woman's body, it becomes easier and more socially acceptable to censor and control the real thing. Criminalizing women's bodies simultaneously makes them more threatening and more titillating. Like, when has hiding anything from view ever made people not want to look at it? This censorship doesn't really say anything about us or our bodies, but it does say a lot about the people imposing the rules. If you're so afraid of what you might do or feel when you see my naked breasts that you need to control all aspects of the way my body is seen, especially in public, we've got a bigger problem on our hands than some boobs. But that's just my two cents. In focus? Yeah. Cool. You're the best. Okay. Stop. Awesome.